In this example, I need to use a calculator to approximate each of the following trigonometric functions and round the answers to four decimal places. Notice I'm using a TI-84 plus calculator. And in part A, I need to find the cosine of 158.3 degrees. Notice my angle is in degrees, so I need to check the mode of my calculator. Notice radians is not highlighted, but degrees is, so my calculator is in degree mode. So now I need to quit, which is in blue, so I just hit second mode. And that brings me back to the home screen. Now I just need to type this in. So I have cosine, notice this calculator opens a parentheses when you hit any of the trig functions. Now I put in 158.3. I don't need the degree symbol since I know my calculator's in degrees. Close parentheses and then hit enter. So I need to round to one, two, three, four decimal places. That's the position of the one. The three is not going to affect the one. So my answer is negative 0 0.9291. Now in part B, I need to find the sine of negative 147.5 degrees. I'm still in degrees. So sine. Notice it open parentheses. Now be careful. This is a negative. This is the negative key on the calculator. This is the operation of subtraction. If you use the subtraction key, you're going to get an error message. So use the negative key 147.5 close parentheses hit enter. Rounding to the fourth decimal place, that's the two. 9 is going to round that up. So my answer is negative 0 0.5373. Now in part C, my angle is in degrees and minutes. I prefer to just convert it to decimal degrees by saying my angle is 67 degrees plus now, how many minutes are there in a degree? 60. So it's going to be 39 divided by 60. And that is the conversion for converting 39 minutes into decimal degree form. So now I can do that in just one step on the calculator. Tangent of 67 plus 39 divided by 60, close parentheses, and hit enter. And rounding, that's the position of this two. The zero is not going to affect it. So my answer is 2.4322. Now, the other way to do this problem is to write 67 degrees 39 minutes so you have to do 67 then you need to find the degree symbol that's under angle which says second apps degrees are number one so there's my 67 degrees 39 minutes is in the same place as degrees second apps scroll down to minutes hit enter close parentheses and hit enter. Did I get the exact same answer? Yes, but I find this method so much quicker than hunting for the degree and minute symbol on the calculator. In part D, I need to find the cosecant of 251.4 degrees. Unfortunately, there is no cosecant key on the calculator. And unfortunately, a lot of students think sine to the negative 1 is the cosecant key. No, this is the inverse sine function or the arc sine function. So the way we do this problem is remembering the cosecant function is 1 divided by the sine function. So this problem is just 1 divided by the sine of the angle 251 
0.4 degrees. Now I can do this in one step on the calculator. It's 1 divided by the sine of 251.4, close parentheses, hit enter, round to the nearest fourth decimal place. That's this one. This one is not going to round it up. So it is negative 1.0551. Now in part E, be very careful. If you read it quickly, you might think this means find the cosine of four degrees, but notice the absence of a degree symbol. This means find the cosine of four radians. So my calculator was in degree mode. I need to change the mode. So hit mode, notice degree is highlighted. I need radians. Scroll down to radians, hit enter. Radians is now highlighted, so my calculator is in radians. So I need to quit the mode, so quit is above mode, so hit second mode. I'm back on my home screen. Now I can find the cosine of four radians. Hit enter. Here is my answer, round to the fourth decimal place, that's the six. The four is not going to change the six. So my answer is negative 0 0.6536. And lastly, in part F, I need to find the cotangent of negative 3.51. Again, no degree symbol, so this is in radians. Now remember, none of the reciprocal functions have keys on the calculator. So you have to turn the cotangent into its reciprocal. So it's 1 over the tangent of negative 3.51 radians. So putting this in one step in the calculator, 1 divided by the tangent of negative, remember this is negative, not this, which is the subtraction key, negative 3.51, close parentheses, and hit enter. Here's our answer, here's the fourth position, the 5 is going to round that 4 up to a 5. So my answer is negative 2.5905. I've explained how to put these problems into a TI-84 plus calculator, but you need to practice on your calculator. Make sure you can put in angles in degrees and radians. You can deal with negative angles in degrees and radians. You can deal with degrees and minutes. And you can also put in the reciprocal functions of the cosecant, the cotangent, and the secant function.